classic bolognese. It's probably one of the most famous Italian sauces. It's meat with tomatoes cooked for a long, long time. Your house will smell fantastic. Classic carrots, onion, celery, garlic, beef, red wine to give more flavors, tomatoes, and forget about it. You cook it for a long, long time until it's ready. Onions, celery, and carrots are the base for every sauce and every delicious dish. And of course, garlic. Why not? It's always good to add extra garlic. Start with the onion. Carrots. Celery. All together. Beautiful trilogy of vegetable. Look at the color. Then the garlic, the best trick, right? You crush it with your hands and then side of your knife, smash it on the side so you much easier to peel. And then this one we do a thin slice. Very, very sweet. This is your mise en place. Whenever you make a recipe, it's always good to have all your ingredients ready at once and then you start cooking so you never stop again. Medium heat. Also, you don't want to cook it too high of a fire because then the pancetta will actually burn very, very fast. While the pancetta is cooking, I want to season this meat. Don't come and start telling me that you season everything at the end. That doesn't work. You season step by step. That's how you develop better flavor. And also, don't be shy with salt. Salt is your best friend. Pepper, crushed, fresh, black pepper. And then you give a little bit stir with one hand, because with the second hand, you will add more salt on this side. Let's cook the meat. High heat, throw some nice olive oil, and then you can break it up. Now let it cook get a nice sear, almost like you would do with a steak, because the caramelization on the meat will give you so much more flavor. Pancetta is almost ready, and now I wanna add my vegetables so they can cook with the fat of the pancetta. Mix it up, and season. Salt, black pepper. And now you can put your heat up, so the vegetables can, can cook faster. And now we need to check on our meat. Let's flip it. And voila. Cross it up, you see? Much easier. This caramelization over here, is that what you want? That is what is going to make so much flavor. Do not rush this process. Cook these vegetables for at least 10 minutes. The meat is ready to move it in the vegetables. Make sure you get all that delicious fat. Now, you see those beautiful bits at the bottom of the pan? That's caramelization. We're going to glaze it with some delicious Italian red wine. And make sure you scrape those delicious flavors. Now the wine needs to boil. When the wine boils, will evaporate, lose the acidity of the alcohol, and keep the delicious flavor. While the wine is reducing, let's get the tomatoes ready. I use San Marzano tomatoes, the most delicious tomatoes in the world, of course, you guessed it, they are from Italy. Crash them with your hands and just add them to the pan. Then the grandmother trick, you get some water, add some herbs, give a little stir, and then cover it with a lid. Now, cover it, cook it on medium to low heat, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours. The longer, the better. 
Bolognese has been cooking for three hours. Let's take a look. Smells amazing. Okay, let's make up some pasta, no? Put some delicious sauce in my pan. Very casually, I have some rigatoni pasta in here. And then casually, I save some pasta water. Make some magic. Ready to play. Very rustic, but delicious. Pasta la bolognese. I see, you see all this rosemary? It's very rustic. I like them in there. And then parmigiano, like is raining. Buon appetito, beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed my cooking tips. Join me for my next masterclass on Amphi.com.